This is from Richard L. Hall, chairman of the, um, I presume, the uh, 50th anniversary. Yes, it is. To Chairman 100th Anniversary Celebration, the year 2013. Dear fortunate chairman of the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Peter Bent Brigham Hospital, I am writing this letter on May 27, 1963, just two days prior to the celebration commemorating the 50th anniversary of the founding of Peter Bent Brigham Hospital. Accordingly, I do not know at this point how the best laid plans of our anniversary are really going to turn out. We have been hard at work for a year organizing the features of the celebration, which may be found listed on the schedule of events. As of this writing, we believe that close to 1,000 people will return, and perhaps half of that number will be present for our awards dinner on uh, Thursday, May 30th, at which we contemplate honoring 11 distinguished individuals in the field of medicine whose names will be found on the enclosed program for the dinner. For what it is worth, I am also including the program and libretto for our theatrical performance to take place on Wednesday evening, May 29 as well as a copy of the brochure prepared on the guidance of Mr. Roger W. Cutler, Jr. and Mrs. Barbara Hopkins, Director of Public Relations. You will also find a copy of David McCord's excellent history of the Brigham entitled The Fabric of Man. In organizing this event, I have had the very great assistance of my co-chairman, Dr. Damon and Dr. Muscles, the inspiration of the president of the board, Alan Steinert, the very considerable assistance from trustee, Mrs. James Donovan, and the help of a great many others, really too numerous to list here. Rather than listing what is going to happen, I think that it would be more useful for your purposes if I recited the mistakes which, after the, union, after the reunion, we know that we made. I hope, however, that these won't be many. In the year 2013, I shall either be long gone to a better world or else I shall be 86 years old. And I hope that if the latter is the case, you will invite me to the 100th celebration. In any event, this brings you my firm hopes and best wishes for a successful 100th anniversary. Richard L. Hall, Chairman.